everyone in this video we would be looking at a concept called as sample bias so I have taken a video on sampling and within sampling there's a lot of bias and there's also another video that I have taken on the types of bias in which sample is one of the biases I said I would take separately so if you haven't got to look at the sampling video the types of bias video you can always click on the link given in the description box and you can follow up so let us in this video let us look at what is sample bias so let's get into it so sample bias is nothing but when a population is mis in representative okay so for example as I explained in the sampling video let's assume that there's a basket of fruits I have a basket of fruits and I want to take a sample so when I take a sample it's always good to take one fruit of every type for example, if I'm having apples, mangoes and oranges, if I need a sample, I will take one of an apple, mango and orange. So it becomes a real representative of all my apples, mangoes and oranges. But in the scenario when I just take up an apple and orange, then that is said to be a sample bias because I'm not representing all the fruits. I've only represented apples and oranges and no mangoes. So that is what is said to be a sample bias. So basically every you know um, observation that is for example a fruit it should have equal chances of being selected but in sample biases sometimes some observations have a higher you know probability of selection some have a lower probability and some don't even get selected so sometimes if i want to you know um, with the same example a basket of fruits i would have picked up large number of apples and I would have collected like less uh, mangoes and just one orange. So that's not actually the representation of my basket of fruits. All my fruits would have been equal in the basket, but I had given, you know, priority for one particular fruit I wouldn't have even selected. So this is something about sample bias. So let us look at a scenario in order to understand what is the sample bias and how actually it can affect decisions that are being taken in an organization or in any you know situation so for example a local community wants to check if the people in their community are healthy or if they have any health conditions so that they can plan to set up some health checkup centers okay so that's the first point to keep in mind and the next one is the community for in order to you know set up these health uh, checkup centers they decide to collect data okay samples from the entire community only then they can understand whether the community is healthy or if there are they they have a lot of you know health issues and health problems so based on that they'll be able to set up uh, the health centers so the local community decides to collect data from office going and school going people okay so they said okay majority of people where we'll be able to collect data is we'll be able to collect you know the school records and also office records and in that itself we'll be able to get most of the people's information okay so they plan to collect data and they plan to survey those particular people so what happened is okay so the population consists of if you see the basic the real ground reality of the population the population consists of people of all diversities okay of all age groups of all the genders of all you know demographics okay so you have the mixed uh, you know community of people so when they surveyed the office going crowd as well as the school going crowd those were the people of somewhat of a like you know a very um, school going crowd was a young age and the office going crowd was also in their middle age so um mostly all the people there were found to be healthy okay on a average so what happened was the community they set up just minimum okay let's say one health center because they said since all the people are healthy it's better to set up one health center which would be enough but you look at the actual scenario what went wrong okay so if you see here the actual population consists of more elder people okay Though you have people going to, you have students going to school, you have people going to offices. When you look at that particular community, mostly it consists of elder people, okay, old people. And another thing was the elder people, they have health problems. We all know that, okay. So this was actually the scenario there. 
what actually went wrong in the survey and in this particular um, study. First one was the elder population was not included in the sample. Okay, people tried. So the elder population are all mostly the people who have retired. Okay, people maybe in old age homes and care, healthcare centers. All these people were not even surveyed. The people of the schools and also the office going, they were surveyed. Okay, the entire one, entire group of people have been omitted, which was a sample bias. It's not an exact representation of the population. Elders should have also been included too in order to represent the elder group, which was not done. Analysis proved that the population was healthy and only health, one health checkup camp was set up. So as we knew, the analysis said that it was healthy and only one health uh, center camp was set up. Actually, due to the higher elder population, now if you see the ground reality, already the elder population is high and even they were not even included in the survey so people never knew that elders are more and also the fact is that elders had a lot of health issues which was not even recognized in that particular issue and actually based on that population and the health issues elder people had there was a need for more health uh, checkup centers which was actually not set up and there was only one so in future there would have been a problem when people felt sick it was very hard to accommodate all of them in that health center and treat all of them so this is how you know um failed um samples or um, sample bias can affect a particular you know uh, it can affect a particular group of people it can affect the entire analysis it can also lead to wrong decision making and create a lot of impacts so this is how an example on the sampling bias so i hope this was informative to you so if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.